Okay, skip a popular opinion. One thing that I would just want to change about this song is at first I, I didn't really like it. Everything perfect. I don't like it. Let's tear rank the torture poets department, the anthology. Straight from the tortured poets department. I'm excited. It's my first tier ranking and I went with the album with 31 songs to do with my first one, so this might have a part one and a part two. We shall see. If you'd like, you can grab a drink with me. Cheers, and let's get started. For my tiers, so for the top tier, we did a spin on LOML. I did Loves of My Life. And then for the second tier, I did I Love You, It's Not Ruining My Life. So these are ones that I also love, but I'm trying to limit the top tier to just five. Those will be the other ones that I also love. And then for the third tier, mid tier, yeah, I, I like it. Listen to these songs and that's what I think. And then for the fourth tier, because this album is so lyric heavy, uh, I did one that's, well, this song's okay, but we're getting some great lyrics out of it. And then for the fifth tier, thanks to the two British muses, I did Not My Cup of Tea. It's the first song, Fortnite, the first single, and right now, the only music video. I hope we get more, because I love, 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 love the visuals in this music video. That I think also makes me like the song more than I maybe would have because I, I, I love the verses. The chorus, so-so. The bridge, so-so. Post Malone's part in the end, so-so. This one's just kind of mid-tier for me, uh, but I will say that I love, 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 love the music video. Yeah, I like her. Second song, so title track, The Tortured Poets Department. This song, I, I like the first verse, so I, I I always first listen to it, and then after the first verse, I'm like, okay, skip, or sometimes I'll keep listening, but uh, yeah, this one is kind of, I don't know, there, there's some good lyrics. Yeah, other than the first verse, the other lyrics I really like are the, the end of the second verse. I'll put that on the screen. I really like those lyrics. And then in the bridge, it is very telling, the line, so put it here about taking uh, her ring off her middle finger and putting it on the ring finger. You just don't do that to a hopeless romantic if you... that's not what you're gonna do. But this one, because of the lyrics, we'll put it in here for the lyrics, but yeah, I do tend to skip it after the first verse. My boy only breaks his favorite toys. <laughs> Love this one. That one is going right away to some of my life. I love the song. I love everything about it. I love how it just goes right into it. Um, the, oh, here we go again. Love that. Um, the metaphor, perfect. Everything, perfect. And then down bad, down bad. I gotta say the, at first, I, I didn't really like it. I guess I just didn't really get it. And thought it was maybe like kind of silly, but I gotta say this one has really grown on me. End of it, the bridge. Uh, I've never listened to the clean version. I only listened to the explicit and the bridge. Oh, when you're a little angry, it was very satisfying to sing the bridge of this song. I'm gonna put it in not quite loves of my life, but definitely still one. I love, love, love. Oh, before we move on from Down Bad, I love the performance of this one. It is beautiful. I love the visuals. I will say I wish it was a smidge longer and uh, she did the bridge. Then it would be perfect and like still mashed it up at the end with Fortnite so she could make Down Bad a little bit longer, do the bridge, and then make Fortnite a little bit shorter. And oh, love it. Next song, So Long London. I love this song oh, so much. It, it bums me out when I see people saying that they like it less just because it's not the track five that they wanted like i don't think you should like a song less just because of what track number it is it's silly and that's gonna go right away to the top i love it uh, the bridge how it starts uh, yeah no notes so good I can't believe people some people don't like it but daddy i love him this song if I had done this ranking, like only two weeks in, this would have been pretty low. It, it, it's grown on me. Still, ultimately, I love the verses and the bridge the most. Uh, my one pet peeve with this is in the chorus. I just find the whole, I'm having his baby, no I'm not. It just says it too much, where it kind of loses impact. You know, like the first time you hear it, you're like, 
oh my gosh, it like fits with the, you should see your faces. But then once she said it, you know, four, four times, how many times, five times total, like I'm kind of over it. <laughs> uh, I think it would have been more impactful if she just did it for the first time in the bridge and then did it in the last chorus and then sang something else in the first few choruses. But I do love everything else about it so much that I, I think I'll still put her in I like her. I'll put it at the top of I like her. But yeah, still would have changed those first few courses. Yeah, it gets old. <laughs> Probably an unpopular opinion. Oh well. This is me later. <laughs> I'm popping in. There's one thing for But Daddy I Love Him that I forgot to comment on. With this line and how it relates to the Midnight's cover. So, the Midnight's cover was that kind of all along an easter egg for what she was planning to do after her breakup? I always thought that cover was a little random with like, why does she have a lighter? She's not a smoker, I don't think. And her hair, I, I don't know if that's, her hair is actually short or if it's just, you know, tucked behind, but her hair like kind of makes it look like 1989 era. Was she trying to tell us? I'm thinking about this dude I met back in the 1989 era and I'm gonna burn up my life to be with him. I don't know. Just a thought. Brush out the slammer. I love this one. I love the metaphor. I feel a little bad for Joe's <laughs> kind of the way she's describing her past relationship of either feeling like she was in a hospital or feeling like she was in jail. That's not really how you want your ex to describe your relationship, but it, it makes for a great song. But the bridge, I, I wish the bridge didn't kind of pull back, slow down so much, but otherwise, I love this song. Florida. I really like Florida. Florida's fun. Florida Like Down Bad is another one that, like, if you're a little angry, it's really fun to listen to the explicit version. Okay she does play it I imagine she will play it as a surprise song when she's in Miami and that would be pretty cool if she also brought out Florence because I, I was happy to hear her voice if, if there had been a tortured poets tour I think this one would have been really cool to do kind of what she did with King of My Heart in uh, Reputation tour with the big drums that her dancers brought out I mean I think then maybe people would appreciate this song more I'm gonna put her in Ooh. I like her. Yeah, I like that. Guilty as sin. I love this song. I, I never imagined we would get a song like this from Taylor Swift. Uh, when you like really think about what she's talking about. I love it. I am here for it. Random question, but anybody else when they hear this lyric, I mean, I'll play it first. Anyone else? Uh, I always want to sing, someone told me there's no such thing as bad blood. <laughs> every time, every time. I guess I just can't hear Taylor Swift sing the word bad and not think bad blood. But anyways, random thought. Okay. Oh, I love this next song. She's going right away to the top. Ever since first listen, when I first listened to this all the way through, this is the one where I was like, okay, what do I want to go listen to for the second time? This was the song that stood out to me. I don't know, I can't really relate to it, but it, it's something, it's something about an angry song. I feel like in angry songs right now, and I think when I, she would talk about this album, seeing the track list, and kind of hearing people think that, or they thought that it would be the five stages of grief, which one of those is anger, I was like, oh. Maybe we'll get a lot of angry songs on this, you know? Uh, but we didn't get too many. We got more sad songs. The performance of it uh, is amazing. Never would have imagined she would come up on the Roomba, some people <laughs> refer to it as, and seeing her go around the stage. Like, I want to see it in person so bad. I love, love, love. I can fix him? No, really, I can. Mm. I feel like we've all been there. Hopefully you haven't. Um, hopefully you knew better that you can't fix them. I love the song, how at the end, the, the flip, like, oh, maybe I can't. Yeah. So I think this one is quite fun. 
I'm gonna put it, um, we'll put it there for now. L-O-M-L. Oh, this song, man, this song is, this might be s some of our best lyrics on the album. Ugh, I don't know, uh, there's, there's a lot of contenders, but this one, ugh, the lyrics are beautiful, but it's so sad. Ooh, but I do really like this song. Put it in, I love you. Mm. This is what I'm kind of talking about where, I, in, but daddy I love him, you know, saying it's more impactful to have the I'm having his baby line at the end. Like this one, isn't it so impactful that it's only at the end, she just says it once, that you're the last of my life. You know? Ooh, let's get a drink. I can do it with a broken heart. Love how you just brought the Eras tour into it, hearing all the background stage noises, having the in-ear monitor of the countdown. One thing that I would just want to change about this song is the production of it. I wish there was more instruments, you know, if it's supposed to kind of mirror her, you know, performing on the Eras tour, like her whole band's there. So I wish it, it was less synth, less kind of almost like house tempo at times and more of live instruments. Like, oh, wouldn't that be so good? Oh, let me play it. Now I think I'm maybe overthinking it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just want to love more instruments, you know, to go with the vibe of the Eras tour. I do still love this song. I'm gonna put her The smallest man who ever lived. Mm -hmm. This does have definitely one of the top bridges on the album. Gosh, it would be hard to rank the bridges, but I, I think this would be in top five. I do love this whole song. And you really need the first parts to kind of build up to just how satisfying the bridge is and just everything that she says in it, calling this person out. Oh, the performance. I, the, I love the performance. Just brilliant. This is good. Hmm, I won't put it there. This is so hard. This is why I could never rank them just like 1 to 31. No, even just doing the tier ranking, five categories, even I guess in the end I'll end up kind of ranking them 1 to 31 now that I think about it, but... Oh, oh no, the alchemy. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of alone in how I feel about this song, at least based on rankings I've watched online. I don't really like this song. <laughs> Just hearing like what the alchemy is, this was one where maybe seeing the track list beforehand, I had an idea of what this song would be. I'm gonna put the description here, but reading that I was like, ooh, well, this be kind of a fun song about having chemistry with someone. I feel like it starts out that way too, saying these chemicals hit me like a white wine. I really love how it starts in the vibe, the production, and then it goes into the chorus and it just becomes this whole other song where I'm like, where'd my like, you know, fun chemistry song go? I don't like this song anymore. So this one is going in. Not my cup of tea. Same as the Tortured Post Department. I listen to the first verse and then I skip it, but this one's not gonna go in here for the lyrics because I don't really like the lyrics other than the first verse. I think it's disjointed, doesn't make any sense. Got that out of the way. <laughs> I was kind of dreading that. Uh, last? Wow, we're already at the last song. Clara Bow. Do you like hearing songs about just how Taylor thinks about fame and her experience with fame? Kind of like the lucky one on red for me and, and nothing new also on red. I do, I do like hearing how she thinks about it, but the song, it's okay. I do like how at the end she spins it around and changes it to her name. I do, I, uh, so I like the concept, but yeah, let's stick it there. All right, dang, so we've done the standard edition of the album. That's how we rank so far, mainly. This is how I kind of thought it would end up, that most, most are at the top. I'd be curious to see how I rank the rest of the songs, so we'll either keep going or tune in for part two. This is. Yeah, my first talking video, so uh, hopefully it wasn't too cringy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, I chose this cyclone, cyclone, cyclone with you. <laughs> cool.
recording. <laughs> okay, I am still recording.